Let me ask you one quick question. What are the five elements of the First Amendment? I don't know. You tell me. So this is a public area. Is it a proceeding? No, th this is a public area. Though. Right. That officer that shows up needs to understand that we have a right as free press or free Americans to do that. Kind of. OK, you want to go ahead and do your recording. We can let you be right here for a few minutes. It's just basically we can't let you just hover. The question is very simple is how could you uphold something you don't even know what it is? What's up, Pata fam? We are here in Las Vegas. It is the beginning of the year, 2023, and we're going to be doing some audits. We're gonna go check out the Las Vegas Police Department. They have a few different locations around the area because it's such a big metropolis of a place. So we'll go check out one of their uh, locations and uh, just take a tour around and see how it is, how it's laid out and how they treat us and, you know, just check out the building and everything around it. So that's what we're going to do out here in Las Vegas. Let's get it. Shout out to El Pollo Loco. This is where we used to get $5 nacho combo, but then it crept up a little bit and they finally got rid of it all together, but they still have good food at a decent price and it's kind of healthy too. So we actually uh, go to El Pollo Loco quite a bit. And then we do the survey on the back of the coupon or the back of the receipt to save a dollar off the next order. So we just keep doing that. So we eat pretty good on these trips for like four bucks a meal and uh, we like it. So. El Pollo Loco, shout out to you. Get back our $5 nachos though. Come on, get it together. So we're going to the uh, North Las Vegas uh, Police Department. That's where we're heading. We're just going on a little walk. I could ride there, but I need to walk. So we're gonna walk. So this looks like there was more than one type of uh, there's more than one building. That's like the old uh, North Las Vegas City Hall there. It's pretty much shut down. So I'm not sure when this building was made, but it's safe to say it's, it's a while ago. And I imagine they put the new building close to this because it's still showing up in Google Maps as the uh, current North Las Vegas Police Department. Prosecutor subject to search so this is all locked down right now looks like it used to be popping and no more so we'll keep walking down i think they built a new one next to it let's check it out your community of choice city of north las vegas this place has seen better days. Still some cars here though. It's like some kind of detective or something right here. He's parked up on the sidewalk, so I'm sure he works here. There's a 425 male walking along the CSI fence line, videotaping the parking lot of uh, Mini Court, the jail, and CSI. He walked through Mini Court parking lot. I copy. Do you have a description? I do. It's a WMA with a salt and pepper beard, glasses, with a teal shirt and a green jacket. I copy. Come here. This is like the sign on the other side that's employees only entrance. Still looks like they use this building right here though. So this is their records division. But they got some nice mirror tent going on there. 
probably keeps the sunlight out. Cause this is the desert after all. We'll go in there in a minute, but we're gonna walk around the building first. There's a fancy camera system for you. It's got cameras at different corners, axis. Okay, so this is the North Vegas Police Department Records Bureau and Supply. So I think this is just where records are kept is what it sounds like. They don't do any actual police stuff here uh, with patrol, I mean. Maybe people come here just to get their uh, their work information and things of that nature let's go check it out they got police records they got people in here you could uh, deposit your prescription stuff in here there's people I don't want to record that's on here. Here's some of the public information that they have. Safe haven stuff. Card access thing right there. Not, <laughs> I guess they do fingerprinting. Do work cards. So you got to get approval to work here. A lot of documentation. How y'all doing, man? So my brother lived here years ago and he said that the uh, to get a job here in Vegas is requires you to have all kind of documentation. So that's what this office, I think, is doing more than anything. It's technically a police department, but I think they more or less provide a lot of records and verifications and, you know, background checks and all this type of thing for potential uh, employees they have to get this so-called clearance in order to get a job here in Vegas. So definitely remember him telling me that years ago. I think they call it a green card or something like that. Similar to what you need to be a, in the United States, you know. But anyway, let's continue on. It looks like this is some more municipal action down here. We'll check it out. I think I see a police vehicle without a front, a front plate, which is typical. <coughs> it could have a temporary plate, but I doubt it. Generally speaking, when the police want to do that, they'll put they just won't put a front plate on. It's starting to sprinkle just a tad bit. Yeah, they got a lot of gate action around here. I think this should be closed, but looks like they're having a hard time keeping it closed. It's like a fire sprinkler access control for the fire department. Got a nice camera up there. Keep 
key code. North Vegas police recruiting. North Las Vegas police recruiting vehicle. Crime scene investigations. Is there a lot for all that good stuff? Smoking within 25 feet of the building. And you know, it's weapon. That's the same kind of sign we saw at the other place. Closed at five. It's not even three o'clock yet, so check it all out. Can't be smoking around here, that's for sure. A little graffiti. So this is a drop box for something, maybe medications and things of that nature. I hope it doesn't start raining hard on me. Oh look, my lucky day. I just spot these things, I'm telling you. It's a whole bunch of them. Jeez. They got a sign attached that says, please wear a face mask. That is crazy. Even though that's kind of died off, they still are pushing it. it says Marshall vehicle only, but you got a building maintenance guy parked here. truck has a built-in lift gate justice facility personnel only no trespassing well they make that pretty clear you get past there you're you're definitely trespassing so i don't see any signs on this building saying that you can't record which is good, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to try to stop you from recording in here. So, this is still related to the COVID thing. This is practice social distancing. You can't have e-cigs or vapes. Can't bring in any drinks. I don't know how far around you can walk in here. How you doing? How you doing, sir? Is this considered in the court building when you go past this uh, yes. security thing? And do you guys allow photojournalists to come in here and record? Um, as long as you're not in the courtroom? Um, not without pre approval. Okay. Yeah, can't film inside there without pre approval. Is there a policy? Um, can, yeah, I, can I take a place? I don't have it. Handy. Can I have a judge's order? Yeah, is there any, I, don't, I don't have it. Handy. What does it actually say? He's what, driving it. Um, the bus. Yeah. Can I? Who's gotten it? Our bailiff. Oh, can I take a look at it? Yeah, he's getting. It. Oh, he's getting it right now. Yeah. Oh, awesome, man! You guys are on it. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. No problem. Everybody. 
What's going on? How you doing? I just want to take a look at the policy if it's okay. Yep. See what it says in the judge's order. Can I hold it? I can't yeah. think of what you're still yeah, using the yeah. paper. I mean, well, some people, man. No. <laughs> it's just easier for me to adjust it yeah, with it, you know, you but it. it's just a piece of paper. But it is right? our policy. No cameras yeah. or anything like that inside the courthouse. In the courtrooms, in the hallways. Shall we send me a case? You okay. want to go it, outside? Hey, yeah, I got that. Have fun. It says media request by the media to broadcast, uh -huh. record, or photograph proceedings yep. in the courtrooms or public areas of the courthouse. Mm -hmm. So this is a public area. Is it a proceeding? No, th this is a public area, though. I understand okay. that. You're absolutely so right. So therefore, there's in the hallways, attorneys, witness, meeting rooms, public areas of the building. All electronic devices shall be on silent. All right. Vibrating setting is allowed. No person except court personnel may make an audio, photographic, still, or video recording of any procedure, oh, I'm sorry, proceedings or person, including but not limited to attorneys, witnesses, parties, or observers. All right. Persons may use laptops, computer cell phones for texting and other electronic devices so long as they use, does not make an audio or photographic, still, or video. Recording and is not disruptive of court business. So basically, court business, that's everything that's going on right now because this is our courthouse. It's court it says business. disruptive of court yes, business. Yes, but basically recording, you're not allowed to record. Uh, just read that part again. Uh, recording personal, personal or person. So basically, if you're going to record, you can't record showing people like how basically you're recording right now. You're right. showing me. Right. You can't record. I'm a person. Or you don't think we're people. I think you're people. Okay, sure. so you can't record yeah. me either. That's what it well, says. Well, in, in the court building. Right. I'm not in but there right now. You're but. in the courthouse, court right. building. This the court procedures are going on, taking payments and stuff like that. What's the judge's name? I'm going to contact him because I think it's being He's taken a little retired. bit out of context. All right, he is retired, but it is his procedure. I mean, you well, know, if he's retired, I mean, we got to get the a... same policy. It's like the like the president did the amendments back in seventeen something. You know, with, right. They're all dead. How long okay. is that? How long has that judge's order been? Since seventeen? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So because it's kind of unconstitutional if you're not in a court building. Yeah, I mean, if you're, not, I'm, I'm sorry, if you're not in a courtroom, this is why I do this. But the come over here so that way people can come through. Am I staying? Oh. Yes. Yep, come over this way, though, please. Right here. You can come over here and talk to me all you want, but it's just the policy. Yeah, I'm gonna saying, I'm gonna check into it because. The judges, the judges generally have power around the courtroom and the adjacent areas of the courtroom. Uh, when they make, when they, house. okay, listen, yeah, what I'm saying. Sorry, the sides, okay. When they make blanket, the when they make blanket judges' yeah, orders like that, yeah. it's a fine line between so, yeah. them making a law and making a judge a judge's order in an area that they can control. Mm. Because a judge, there's been cases of judges making orders where you can't film a courthouse even from the street. Yeah, I see those. You see what I mean? Yeah. So that's overreaching. And I get that they want to keep people's information private mm -hmm. and all that stuff. The problem is there's a balance between somebody's right to record what's going on with them yeah. and not being able to. So I, I don't I don't push doing this to yeah. like mess with people. No, that's yeah. not my thing. My thing is I want people, individuals, to be able to go into a court building and record what's going on with them, how they're being treated, what's being so told to them. To record what's going on with you. That's, I can see where you're going with that. Yeah, I don't, but, there's, I don't even record people's faces. But, like, yeah, but when you have other people, these speakers aren't earpieces. They, you know, they're, I get, I get, I, I get you. I, so therefore, I get, but if it's anything that sensitive, it probably shouldn't be being broadcast. If it was anything that sensitive. Well, I mean, anything you be get, sensitive to people. Well, I, to, to people, what I'm saying is yeah, not so like they're going to blur out their, they're not going to blur out their social. They can be upset because you're recording Well, people them. can be upset. I get it. But, but yeah, so here's, here's what I'm saying. They're not going to blur out their social security number or something. Sometimes they do. because Over the loudspeaker? Yeah, because they the entire, not, we don't do it, but we ask. We could ask, so to verify, just ask Sam. I'm not 100% sure how that works because that's not my job. I understand. Okay, but I'm just making a, an example. Right, right. I, I get it. Okay, so therefore they could ask date of birth. 
this. Where where do you live? So make sure it's right. You. But generally, now, not over the loudspeaker is my point. Not over not the, the per, not me saying it back to you. For example, me saying it back right. to you. But you're talking. But I would to have me, to be sort of close to you to get that. Yeah, but you're talking out loud, and the windows are. Beside okay, but couldn't somebody have a sheet of paper and write it down what they hear? Yeah, but that's the thing. That, that's but my point. That's like if you're in public. I'd rather have you try to write something down that you I get it. I think get you it. heard compared to, let me rewind You can rewind it. it. I understand it I understand your point, but listen, there's freedom of press. I'm a member of the press, actually. You have a card? Oh, yeah. Can I got, I, I got my I have a business card? I, I don't have a card. I have my, my press pass. Can so, I see it? It won't get me in the door, will it? No, uh, well, there's no, oh, no. need, there's no you need have for to me. make an appointment. It probably right. will. Right, I, I, yeah. I get it, but yeah. I'm trying to do this for the average citizen that wants to come in and record what's going on with them, All right. and that's why I do it. So I'm, I'm not going to push. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you talking to me. Oh, thank yeah. you, and thank no, you for bringing the order yep. and showing me. You are a little off when you think I can't record you right here because you are a person, but you're also a public servant. And you're in your line of work active right oh, yeah. now. You have no expectation of privacy. Mm -hmm. You have no, Actually, uh, maybe with, somebody else can I'm argue outside, that. I can see where you're going with that. Doesn't matter. If you got that uniform on. you're coming inside and doesn't inside matter. the building that has a rule that says no recording inside, that is but, part of that situation. But, it, but you're not differentiated because you, you can be recorded anywhere that I can record legally. And that gentleman told me I'm good as long as I don't pass this. So I'm legal as far as what he told me. Yeah, but and that means I can record you. The paper right now, as we just read and I read out loud, inside the court building. Right, I, yeah, I so get therefore, it. This is, when you come through those two doors right there, that's the court building. Right. Now, he is right too on that point. We do let, you know, because that way you could kind of, okay, you want to go ahead and do your recording. We can let you be right here for a few minutes. It's just basically, we can't let you just hover um, indefinitely yes for a certain amount of time okay i'm gonna be in here for two hours just record the whole last no because you have no business here really. well if they are legally you know, allowed to be there as much as you may not like it they do have the right be like yeah, kicking somebody out of a I'm park trying to say, nope, time to go. It, it'd be like yeah. kicking somebody out of and a park like, I'm not you know, trying to say, yeah you you, yeah. you wouldn't want to do that one if they but, can legally be there and they're quiet not causing a disturbance they really have the but right to be there. actually recording people coming in and everything like that. Well, I can stand yeah. out there and record people yeah, coming you can in. Do that. I mean, they I may not like it, but it'd be legal, yeah, right? That's legal. Right. right. There, but and, but it's still the same thing. Business. I'm still recording people but coming in. Inside of a business. Right. Okay. Right. I, I get these judges' orders, <laughs> and, and I'm trying to. We're going to actually tackle these on a on a much higher level. There's stuff going on, but these judges' orders, they're really overreaching. We do respect courts and the area outside of courts, yeah. but. It's just like it's going more and further and further mm -hmm. out. And then people, you know, they shouldn't end up in jail if they want to record what's going on with them, what the person saying to them. You know what I mean? They yeah. should just say, hey, be respectful and don't record other people's information. Mm -hmm. But you should be able to record what's going on with you. That's our whole point. So what's your name, Deputy? Anthony. Anthony Jones. Yep. Anthony Jones, nice to meet you. you I'm prove all things all. It's, I appreciate you guys. Right. You guys are professional. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. And thanks for bringing that out. No problem. And we'll deal with it with the judge or Hired the current up. judge. Yeah. Is he's gone. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right, brother. So anyway, that is the North Las Vegas Municipal Court. Of course, they got a uh, bogus judge's order as... And the judge, the funny thing is the judge is not even on the bench currently. He's not even presiding right now, but they still hold on to that judge's order, which needs to be contested. It's it's five-year-old judge's order. So we're definitely going to, uh, you know, see what's going on with that. We should find out if this cop right here knows the elements of the First Amendment. Let me just ask him a quick question or two. Oh, he's not tackling him because he's on camera. I'm just joking. I don't know if this guy's a tackler or not. How you doing? You got about one minute for me to ask you a question? I'm here for it. Well, first of all, what's your name and badge number? I'm Sergeant Weiss. Oh, you're Sergeant? Yeah. Sergeant uh, Weiss. Weiss. Okay, so. My badge number is 2039. Awesome. You've probably seen people like us around here before, haven't you? I love you? people like you around here. What? See, this is cool, man. I, I, 20 years ago, I got arrested. Well, more than 20 years ago. Uh, for a domestic violence thing, I was visiting my brother and I was so compliant. I was cool, no fighting, no arguing. And I'm probably gonna edit this part out. <laughs> but anyway, the cop, I, I was getting arrested, right? And the officer yelled at me and said, we got you now, bitch. 
And I remember looking at the cop that was arresting me. There's another guy willing by that said it. And I was like, why is he, why is he talking to me? Like I said, I've been nothing but cordial. I've been nothing but nice. And he's like, well, people, we get a little amped up. We get these calls. But it's like, man, you got to be professional, bro. But uh, anyway, you show you around? Um, sure, if you want to. But let me ask you one quick question. Anything. What are the five elements of the First Amendment? No, no, no. You tell me. Well, I can tell you because I know I do this, How but we, we ask people. You, know, okay. you have no idea? You, know you got to know at least one or two. I, I do know some. Okay, give it to me. I, I don't do tests. I'm not doing your tests. No, well, it, right it's now. voluntarily. I, okay. I'm not trying to. I, I'm just. What the thing is, is because you're, you swear an oath as an officer, right? And so a thing that a lot of auditors have been doing is just going around simply asking that question. Okay, you swore an oath to this. You yep. swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. The question is very simple, is how could you uphold something you don't even know what it is? Is that a fair question? It is. Okay, so if I swore to do something and, and I can't tell you what it is, all I did was parrot back what was told to me, then it never went in my mind. I, I, I can't tell you. Yeah. I can't tell. Most people would say freedom of speech, yep. right? For, First freedom Amendment. Of and press and stuff. Okay, but, so that's two, but, right? So here's a big thing, and I want you to know big part of it for me and so i teach my officers and stuff like that a lot of it right okay so i think the constitution and the first amendment especially when we do what's right usually we're gonna fit in there. that's true when we i respect when that we respect people the the details of having let's say these amendments memorized or knowing all the basics if you respect people treat people right and you're fair with everybody, you're going to be within the Constitution 99% of the time. Okay, I, I understand your so, point, and I, in an in a, in a organic way, I agree yeah. with you. But yeah. here's where it gets a little tricky, because sometimes that line gets blurred. For instance, this camera, for instance. Yeah. Let's say I'm walking in a park, and I'm recording everybody in the park. I'm just quietly recording them. Somebody comes up and says, hey... You're on my, uh, I'm on your camera. I didn't give you, I didn't sign a waiver. You don't have permission. You know, I'm going to sue you. Get out of here before we kick your ass. You know, get, get you know, start escalating because they're triggered because they're being recorded, right? That officer that shows up needs to understand that we have a right as free press or free Americans to do that. Absolutely. Now he, now I've seen this where some officers go, they immediately jump on the side of the person complaining and go, hey, uh, uh, why are you harassing these people? Why are you recording their children? You know, X, Y, Z, B, all this stuff. And they, and they beef it up in order to villainize the person that's recording because they don't know their rights. That's why it's important for officers to know the rights of people. So they got to say, hey, look, man, I know you're uncomfortable. I know you don't like it, but that's his First Amendment right out in public to record anything he wants. He can aim his camera any direction he wants and you can't. we can't do anything about it. We're not gonna throw him in a cage because you don't like it. Absolutely. So that's, okay, so now you get where I'm going. That ties back into the importance of the officer understanding rights. It's very important because without that, like freedom of speech, most people know that one because you see it everywhere. You know, people, people protest and all this kind of, so it's always in your face kind of, yep. and you gotta go, well, they have the right to say fuck you or ass or whatever it is they wanna say. They have that right. And so most people understand so that, but this, the, the press gets a little bit hazy because people don't see that exercise very often because most people just go about their day, yep. but they don't stop and think, well, do I have the right to record this? And then you shouldn't end up in jail or in a cage because you recorded something while you're in public. You, I should be able to take a picture anywhere, video anywhere well, in public. Like, long like as it's, said, it's yeah. To, I'm here. I'll show you around, show you what buildings are and I'm, I'm, I'm down, but the other elements of the uh, First Amendment probably exercise a little bit less. You said it's freedom assembly. of assembly, yep. freedom of religion, yep. and there's one more. You tell me. I got to think about myself. So anyway, let's <laughs> so I, I don't know. Uh, I, I get them in a this minute. This whole area right here is actually the Justice Center. Correct. Okay. So for North Las Vegas, we have all together here the municipal court as far as the all the court proceedings are done in here for your municipal some misdemeanors but what happens here also here we have the north las vegas jail our correction center is yes, here sir. and the police department it's our south area command of the police department okay so that's all in this area in this building is that's what you're going to get okay nice as you come down here you'll see the black gates in a building over here right so that's going to be our csi bureau and our evidence area 
property, you get property there. back. I yep. walked this way, so I saw yep. that, yeah. And then at the end, past the gates, where you see some cars down there, that's where our records department is, and as well as where you do, like, reports. So if you nice. want to come in and do a lobby report, that's where that would be done. Awesome. So everything, like I said, everything that's not behind some gate, all yours. Video gotcha. take whatever you want, have a good time. Yeah. And if you have any questions. Yeah, I didn't have any problems in, in I didn't really have any problems in here. They were professional, but these, these judges' orders are overreaching. I get that they want to keep people from recording sensitive things, and I don't ever want to record in a courtroom or even outside of a courtroom. But I think when they start encroaching further and further out, there was a judge's all the way out to the sidewalk. He said, if you take a picture, it's on YouTube. He had people arrested for taking a picture of the courthouse from the sidewalk, which is ridiculous. Yeah. And then they walked it back because they realized how unconstitutional it was and it got a lot of negative media attention. But that just goes to show you how it, it if you don't, it's like a cancer. If you don't stop it, it'll spread. Yeah. And so... What I like to see is a person's ability as an individual. I don't go, even when I walk around in places, like I went into the probation type of yeah. records area where people go, I don't think it was probation. You get my point no, though, where they get records. records. Work cards. Yeah, I didn't even record any of the people's faces. I aim my camera like this yeah. the whole time because I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. I yeah. could record them, to help people but I don't want to do, I want to fight for an individual's right to go in. Because sometimes they get treated like shit. The people talk to them crazy, there's bad service, or there's sometimes people with language issues and they can't understand what's being told to them right then, so they want to record it so they can have somebody later in their family break it down and explain to them what was being told to them. So somebody that wants to have that record shouldn't be strangled out of it because you could potentially use it for nefarious purposes. Not every, it's like a gun. Some people can use it for good, some people can use it for bad. But don't take away my right to have one. I don't have one, by the way, yeah. homie. But don't take away my right to have one based on the ability or the potential of me doing something wrong. You know, it's like pre, kind of prejudging in a way, you know? And like you said, so. we fight for the Constitution. That's what you're doing out here, so I support you. All right. And if you need something, let me know. It's cold. All right. Don't get it, too much rain on I'll, you. I'll be all right, brother. I'll be all right. But uh, it's, uh, the last one was the right to redress your government. To, okay. to, to seek redress so if you didn't like something you can come there and you make know, a complaint make a complaint yeah so are you here because of me or are you yep. here just because of no, some the, citizen called so yeah he's like, got guy with a scary camera walking around yeah. all right so i appreciate it brother no problem. thanks sergeant yeah there's no nothing nefarious i'm just going out doing my thing man take care man all right so uh somebody called the cops because i was recording which is <laughs> it's just so funny. I bet it wasn't a citizen. I bet it well, it might have been a citizen, but I bet it's a citizen that works here. That's what I would think. It's a uh, it's a city worker that works here. Because I doubt that somebody driving down that street called. But whatever. So it's another uh, case of the uh, bogus judge's order. But. <laughs> For the most part, guys, I would say this was a pass. I mean, these these court people, the workers, they, they're going to enforce, you know, those orders because they don't know any better. And it's it's just an order, you know, and they feel like that's that's pretty much law. So anyway, this is the North Las Vegas uh, courthouse as well as a couple of other jurisdictions over here, a couple other divisions, buildings, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that officer knows about first amendment audits. There's no doubt about it, but uh, yeah, he was cool. I'll give him credit. He passed, but we got to do something about these judges orders. Anyway, prove all things audits. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. That all helps our channel out. We appreciate the support. Until the next one, I'm out.